Inmates have set fire to cells at Hakea Prison, causing a major evacuation. The incident today prompting a blame game between those in charge. Charred and blackened, the remnants of a fiery rebellion at Hakea Prison. There were some cell fires lit and so the, the first priority for those responding staff was to ensure that uh, the prisoners in those cells were safe. At 8 o'clock last night, prisoners in three separate cells torching bedding and mattresses. Specialist corrective services officers called in to extinguish the fires and control the disturbance. Two prisoners involved taken to hospital for smoke inhalation. There was no warning and no clear motive. Naturally, we are always concerned about incidents like uh, last night. Today, claims Hakea is overcrowded and under-resourced. Prison numbers are up. This government hasn't spent money on hiring more prison officers. The government hit back, saying prison overcrowding was an issue when it came into power, prompting it to add more than 200 officers to the ranks to manage the situation. So we can't put it down to overcrowding or any issues like that? I think that would be, yeah, um, incorrect. The WA Prison Officers Union saying prisons like Hakia are overcrowded at the best of times and when the weather gets hot, prisoners get agitated in their cells. As a result of last night's disturbance, several prisoners have now been moved away from Hakia to another prison to avoid further incidents. Darius Winterfield, Nine News.